Hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is the binary tree in order traversal problem. It is a lead code easy and the number for this is 94. So in this problem we are given with the root of a binary tree and we need to return the in order traversal of the nodes value. So okay. What is an in order traversal? So in a in order traversal we first move to the left part then we go to the root then we move to the right part. So the left subtree is printed first then the root part then the right part. So the, there is a basic formula for in order traversal and we need to apply this formula on every node. Left, root, right. So okay, let's see the left, root, right. How do we apply on the example one and we'll see the in order traversal as well. So initially we start with the root, root node one. We move to the left. Is there something on the left node? So the next step was left, root, right. So we need to print the root now. So okay. One is printed. Now move to the left. Okay, we move to the left. On reaching a new node, you need to again apply the left root right. So okay, we reach two. We need to apply the left root right. So we are on the node to apply left. Go to the left. Is there something on the left? Yes, there is a node three. So okay, apply again the left root right. Is there something on the left? No. Print the root. Three is printed. Move to the right. There is nothing on the right. Move back. We move to the node two. So the left part was done for the root 2 operations. The root and the right are left. So okay, now it's the root time. So print the root. Root is printed. Move to the right. Is there something on the right? No. Okay, now we can move back and we can return the answer. So the 1, 3, 2 becomes the answer. Now we are going to basically solve this using a DFS and we'll be keeping a result array or a vector or an array list as you wish. So we'll keep a res result array and there will be three operations left right and visit so initially we start with the root node one okay we start with the one we move to the left we found nothing okay we move back it's time for the root operation so one we visit one because the left root and in the root one is printed now we move to the right on moving to the right we reach the node two we reach the node 2 then we again we need to check the left to right for the node 2 so the node 2 we move to the left we reach the node 3 so since at the root th node 3 there is nothing on the left so we mark the 3 visited because of the root and then we move to the right of the 3 there is nothing we move back and then mark the node 2 as visited so the result becomes 1, 3, 2 and in this way we are going to solve the problem. So let comes, let's come to the code section. But before that, remember to like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. So we need an uh, array list of integer. And we'll call a helper function on the root and the result array and we'll return the result afterwards. So it takes a root, it takes a list. And first of all, we need to check if the root is not null. Then we need to perform. First of all, we'll move to the left. Root dot left. Result. Then after coming from the, red, uh, the left, we need to add the root. So root is added here. Now we need to move to the left. So you see the left, then the root, and now the right. Root dot right. Press. And yes, it is done. So let's try to submit it for the sample test cases. So the sample test cases are passed. Let's try to run for the hidden test cases as well. 
redundant test cases also pass with a good memory complexity and good time complexity so the time complexity for this solution is o of n where n is the number of trees a uh, number of nodes in the binary tree and the space complexity is the height of the tree because of the recursion stack space what we are taking and otherwise if you count this the data structure used to return the answer it will be o of n but i am not counting it because it was necessary to use in the problem to return return that if you want the c++ python and the javascript code you can go into the solutions panel and check this solution this is my solution you can see the the java c++ python and the javascript code here and yes do remember to upvote me so thank you for watching the video i hope you understood the logic so like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so thank you friends have a nice day